How are we doing? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome back to another video. My name is Jacob and uh, as you can probably see by the title, today is all about updating anyone out there uh, wondering where I'm at and uh, what my, my chest looks like six years and in two days time, two months on from the day that I went under the knife under local anaesthetic and got my mammary glands dissected and removed from my body, which is something that I've always wanted. Did I know that the recovery was going to go as terribly as, as mine did? Absolutely not, but no one does. And looking back now, I'm super glad that I did vlog that experience because it has helped a hell of a lot of people out there. And I continue to get uh, comments and questions and uh, all of that abuse, of course, um, on my content around that subject. And so today, because I've got a, a comment recently asking, you know, what does it look like six years later, it kind of made, got me thinking, you know, well, why don't I, next time I'm in the gym, bust the camera out and try and give you guys a, a, a realistic look at what it looks like. Um, now, my recovery was, was terrible, uh, but I made certain mistakes along the way. The first of which was taking the drains out too early because I was interstate and I had to travel back home, or at least I didn't have to, but I wanted to. I wanted to get back home as soon as possible. Gave myself three days to recover, jumped on a plane, uh, and the rest is history. By day six or seven, I developed massive hematomas. Um, they stuck around for a long time. But after about a year and a half or two years, the discoloration, underneath the skin finally went away and now six years on there is no discoloration but in saying that number one my, nip my nipples are completely numb and number two they if I if I brush something really hard against them they are super sensitive and really sore really sore now if you know I can lay on the, the carpets or lay on my stomach in bed and you know run and jump and play sports and do all that kind of shit without any pain whatsoever but if something brushes them hard enough in the, like the wrong way it really really hurts so those are two things that I wanted to mention um, the discoloration of course that really fucked with me for a good two years but you know I'm in the gym um, I've just finished an arms workout and I thought you know what six years on uh, let's do a bit of an update so that's exactly what I'm going to do now because I think, oh, I mean, I'm kind of, oh, I'm kind of confused as to exactly what type of content I should, I should bring to the channel. I'm kind of between, you know, between video series, and um, I'm focusing a lot of my attention on my other channel, which is called It's Okay to Talk. Feel free to go and subscribe. The link is down in the description below. I'm actually, like that channel is, is about mental health, it's about addiction, and it's also about challenging, challenging myself, specifically for 30 day challenges. And at the moment, I'm on day 27 of a, 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 a challenge where I've counted my calories every single day for 30 days. So I'm on day 27 of that. And I've shaped up, and so that's another reason why I feel good enough to make this video, because I am in better shape than I was 30 days ago, and I'm in a hell of a lot better shape than I was 60, 90, 6 months, a year ago. In fact, a year ago, I was balls deep in a vicious cycle of alcohol addiction. And so for the last 3 months, at least, if not longer, I've been battling. Battling physically and mentally to get my body back, to get my health back, um, and to feel in you know, a, a good enough headspace to finally start creating content on this channel again. So, here we are. This is it. I'll give you guys a smile. This is it, guys. Um, now, what I will say, after getting lean, uh, really lean in 2020, and now getting you know, relatively lean now, I, I do feel as if my, my gyno case was small uh, in comparison to a lot of others, but at the end of the day, it was still there, and when the doctor showed me the gland, it was pretty much the size of a golf ball. So I pretty much had a golf ball-sized gland 
which doesn't matter how much dieting I was going to do, it was never going to go away. And it fucked with me. And so the main benefit, guys, of getting this surgery, having gone through the recovery, as shit as it was, is that it doesn't fuck with me anymore. I can wear any top, I can wear any colour, uh, any fabric type, and it does not bother me. And that was worth the price alone. Like, I would have gone through a, a year's worth of um, having hematomas for that to happen, honestly, because it, it just fucked with me. And, you know, if it had gone on any longer, I may have gone to the extremes of uh, wearing a sports bra or taking my nipples down or some shit like that. And no one should have to go through that, right? So I, I, I waited until I was 27 years old. I wanted to make the decision with uh, a mature mind, even though I'm probably still not mature. And I made that decision and I went through with it. Now, today's video is all about just giving you guys a look. And... That's what it looks like. As you can see, the discoloration has all but gone. Um, now, it doesn't matter how lean I get, I tend to hold a little bit of fat like underneath here and underneath here and also here. And I think that's genetic, genetically disposed around my body. Um, my chest was never the leanest part of my body. But, you know, like I said before, it didn't matter how lean I got, it was the, 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 the gland that was never going to go away. Yes, there are things you can do to reduce it, such as reduce body fat or um, pinch your nipples or, you know, only take your top off when it's cold outside. But who wants to fuck around with that? That's bullshit. No one should have to go through that. I think the biggest barrier to, for a lot of people, um, the biggest barrier to getting the surgery is the money. And I feel like you will get what you pay for. I feel like you're definitely going to want to go to a surgeon locally so that you can recover well at home and also so that you can go back to him if you have any complications such as I did. So by all means guys, look back in my video library, I've got an entire playlist titled Gyno Surgery or Gynecomastia. Uh, there's informational videos, there's my vlog series of course, and this particular video will be the, the latest in that series. So don't be afraid. Um, I would say wait until you're at least 18, 19, 20 just to see exactly you know, how, your sh how your chest develops. Um, you know, try and add on a little bit of muscle before you go through with surgery like this and try and get in as lean of, in as lean of um, a, a, a body fat as possible prior to going in. It's going to reduce the risk of the doctor cutting you know, too much fat out um, and just focusing on that gland. I mean, a, surge, a, a surgeon should be qualified, should be experienced enough to not make that mistake, but, you know, the fatter you are, um, the less obvious the gland is going to be. So, those are my thoughts, and my thoughts alone. I thought it was about time I did this. Uh, I, I really, I couldn't be happier with the, with the, um, the result now, six years on, and six years is just gone like that. And I mean, I could have quite easily put the surgery off and put it off and put it off and still be dealing with the, these, these uh, mind fucks that having gyno, doesn't matter how big or small your case is, will give you. As a man, we're not meant to have breasts, okay? I still haven't taken any steroids in my entire life. I'm 33. If I get to 40 um, and I still haven't, I think that'll be a miracle. I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to just, you know, experimenting with a small dose and just seeing, you know, how, how that feels as a man with super physiological levels of testosterone. And that I will bring to the channel. I'll bring that, that, that uh, experience to the channel. I feel like you guys will be interested and I'll certainly be interested. Good, bad or ugly. We'll see what happens. I haven't done it yet. And I don't have any plans on it in the immediate future. But like I said, if I get to 40 and I haven't done it, I think that's a miracle. Thanks for watching, guys. Welcome back to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.